1. The employer has the right to know of the accusations against him or her. Responsibility of employer to inform the employee in writing of accusations leveled against him or her. 2. The employer has the right to speak in his own defense. The employee must be given given the opportunity and chance to speak for his own defense. Failure to do so will make the dismissal procedure null and void. 3. The employee must be given enough time to reply for accusations. An appropriate time frame should be given for the employee to prepare all relevant information and details to defend himself or herself. 4. The inquiry must be conducted by an unbiased party. Clearly ensure any parties with any form of interest in the case are not in the panel of inquiry. The disciplinary process. The complaint. Disciplinary action against an employee emanate from a compliant or a contravention of any rules and regulation of the company. The investigation, the head of department upon hearing the complaint must immediately carry out investigation to find and establish a prima facie case toward the affected employee. Unjust complaint, if, after due investigation, it is found that the complaint is frivolous, unjustified, or false then the case should be closed. Letter of allegation, if there is a prima facie case against the employee, the employer must issue a letter of allegation to the employee and detail the allegation made against him. Service of the letter of allegation or show cause. The letter containing the allegation must be served to the employee, and the employee must be made to acknowledge the service. Letter of explanation from employee or show cause reply. The employee may admit or submit his explanation or neglect to reply to the letter. Charge letter for domestic inquiry. If the explanation is found unsatisfactory, the employer may proceed to charge employee and conduct a domestic inquiry. During this period the employee could be suspended from work for a maximum of two weeks with half salary. Outcome of domestic inquiry. Based on the outcome of the domestic inquiry, if the employee is found guilty and the employer may impose the punishment in accordance to the severity of the offense for instance, warning, demotion, or dismissal. If found not guilty, the employer should retract the allegation and advise the employee in writing.